Hello, I am Ann Hoskins, Calf Specialist with VitaPlus. So far, this series of videos focused on nutrition, systems, calibration, and cleanliness in auto feeding systems. Now we will shift our focus to data management. Data can be extremely useful and helpful to your calf operation, but data can also be very overwhelming and scary. Auto feeders supply a tremendous amount of information ranging from feeding amounts, drinking speed, visits, breakoffs, and the list goes on and on. So where do you start and what is important? Like all things, it is what is important to you and what is going to help manage your operation. Most will start with the alarm list, which identifies calves that are consuming or drinking below a specific percentage designated by the farm. This will hopefully help to identify calves that are sick, slow to adapt, or struggling. Although this is helpful, some will tell you it's not the most important metric to look at. And the reason is that timing can mess with the number. Depending on when the calf drinks and their pattern, it can mess with the percentage. Essentially, utilizing the alarm list is part of the total package. I have found watching actual consumption is very, very important, especially for those calves just transitioning onto the feeder. Some calves will have erratic eating patterns when starting on the feeder. They may trigger an alarm, but can get overlooked because of their irregular pattern. A calf needs to drink a minimum of 1.25 pounds of dry matter per day to meet maintenance needs of a young calf. Calves that are not consuming enough milk initially will stall and struggle. Drinking speed also sorts itself to the top of the key indicators. Just like in an individual system, if a calf is slow to get up or slow to finish their milk, they are automatically flagged for further evaluation. The auto feeder will measure drinking speed at each meal. Once a baseline is established for the farm, then watching the individual calves becomes important. Another key area to watch for is the number of visits. Calves are creatures of habits, and if those habits waver too much, something is likely going on. Not only does the feeder provide information for detecting health events, it can also help you manage your calves. Some feeders have scales implemented into the system to help track daily gains. With this information, you can make long-term decisions on certain calves. You can see how much a calf is consumed over time, allowing to look at cost of raising much closer. Along those lines, you can look at different feeding strategies and determine which is best for your operation. In some cases, increasing and decreasing the ramp ups and weaning. As you dig into your auto feeder programs, it is important to establish your own checks and balances as every farm is different. You will begin to establish your own trends and use those to improve and develop your system. While auto feeding can offer many more data points than individual system, it is still important not to get lost in the data. No matter the system you're using to raise your calves, the goals are the same to produce a healthy, productive herd replacement.